Hey, it's Pete here, and I'm back for another free day-long tournament. I've been away for the last few weeks, so I haven't managed to play any of them, but I'm here this week, and I'll give it a shot, um, but I will miss the next one. So after this one, the next one that you'll see will be in a fortnight. Anyway, uh, what this is is an eight-board BBO tournament that you can play uh, by going into BBO and clicking uh, competitions and then finding uh, the free day-long tournament. There's entries by over 4,000 people. You might not get to play the same hands, unfortunately, but you can give it a shot. Anyway, uh, let's jump right in and see what we can do. Uh, 10, 14, and a nice 6-4 shape. This hand is, like, really good. Um, if I find a fit in spades, like, I might be able to make slam ops with a pass partner, maybe. Uh, but I don't think I'd ever even bother looking, but uh, it's got really good, uh, really powerful hand. And if I catch the raise, I would definitely be bidding game. Anyway, um, I'll just show my other suit. My partner jumped to four hearts. Alright, so their maximum pass hand with at least four hearts. Um, yeah, cool. I'll let that go. So, they have a really good hand for me, and we got a club lead. They didn't find the diamond lead, which is probably the best lead for them. Now, uh, I'm going to go, I've got no club losers, I have a diamond loser, I have a spade loser, and a heart loser. Um, I could count losers from the other hand, but basically I'm going to draw trumps, set up spades, and throw them away. Uh, my general plan will be to win the ace and take a heart finesse. If the king's on side, that's good. Um, and then subsequently try and take a spade finesse. And hopefully I'll be able to throw two diamonds away on my good spades. And I could even make 13 tricks. But this is actually a really good hand for slam. And this illustrates how powerful this hand was. When they found the wrong lead, slam's on one of two finesses. So let's uh, just see how we go. Um, up with the ace... I will lead the Ten of Hearts, because if the Heart Finesse works, I want to stay in that hand. So, Ten of Hearts, and Trump's a 4-0. Right. Causes a little bit of issues. Anyway, I'll take another Finesse, and I'll play a Spade to the Ten. Um, Alright, next strategy is how do I take uh, 12 of the tricks? So if I play a heart to the queen and a spade to the ace, um, I will be in the wrong hand. Oh, so heart to the queen, spade to the ace, heart to the ace, and then play a spade over, that's fine. I could also just cash the ace of spades as we are here. Um, both of these work okay, I think. Um, I suspect that West has four spades, because that avoid um, a void, uh, void heart. So the spades are probably four one. Now, if I play a spade to the queen, ace of hearts, and play a spade over to the ace, and that uh, wins, I don't have the entries back. So I think I have to cash the ace of spades now. Heart to the queen, and then a spade's also fine. But both of these will work out the same way. Ooh, all right. So spades are three two. So we will draw trumps. And rough a spade. And diamond to the ace. And they get the final trick. So my spades are all good. And we make 12. Four hundred and eighty. So how will that go? Like uh, obviously four hearts making twelve is cold. I don't think there's anything that the robots can do about it. Some people might time things poorly. So if they lead a heart to the queen, they might have to do uh, some other work. Uh, if they try and rough clubs, that'll also be bad. Um, but all in all, I think that uh, four hearts making 12 should be a fantastic result. Um, probably around 70%. I didn't do anything fancy. Some people will uh, rebid their spades or something. And playing two spades some people might play four spades which has a spade and a heart uh, diamond to lose which is so it's a worse contract um, but yeah so I'm happy with that I'll take my 12 tricks and my good score 
Um, 10, 17 points in a five card suit. This hand is far too good for a one no trump opening, so I'll treat it as 18, 19 balanced. So I'll open a club and rebid two no trump. Three diamonds, new minor forcing. So I do have three card support for my partner, so I'll just show that. And they are now cubiting. Okay, so they've got the ace of diamonds, so they're interested. I am a minimum, but my hand is still exceptionally good for slam. We have a fit there. I have a good source of tricks. I've got aces, and if they have the ace of diamonds, that king of diamonds is useful. So I'm just going to cooperate and cubid for hearts, showing uh, control of hearts. Um, now my partner didn't bid key card, but they're still interested in slam, and I've got a singleton club that now actually makes my hand worse. Um, but if they don't want to bid slam, and I did cooperate here, I don't think it's worthwhile bidding it. So I will just uh, so I can cube bid five diamonds and show the king of diamonds. Maybe I should do that. I was thinking of possibly signing off, but it denied it. But if they're happy to stop there, I'll I'll stop there. Okay, so here we are in five spades rather than four. And a fair bit of work cut out because their club void makes my hand a lot worse. Hmm, a lot, lot worse. Anyway, uh, we have three heart losers, we have two diamond losers, and we have two spade losers. I could use the ace, king, and clubs to pitch my two diamonds away, but I've still got three hearts that I have to deal with, and the spade suit. Uh, if I rough two hearts, then I'm sort of limited in how I can actually play the spades for only uh, one loser. Um, I am going to lose a heart trick. I am going to lose a spade trick, so I just have to deal with it yeah, that way. I could uh, try and set up clubs, so if I roughed a club and roughed another club, I might get three discards, but it's not great. I think I need to try and trump some hearts, so we'll play ace of hearts and another heart. In with the king, so ten of hearts, flew ace, heart back, they flew king, so it looks like east has queen ten nine, uh, so this looks like that'll rough out. Alright, so east had queen ten nine third. So my jack is now a winner. Um, so I'll run the queen of spades. Okay, I really don't want West to win the uh, jack of spades here because then they'll be able to give their partner a trump promotion. Uh, so we'll play another spade. East wins, so this is looking good. Diamond over. Get to win, I get to draw the trumps. Okay, and my jack of hearts is good. And we'll play a diamond to the king, and then throw two clubs away. So again, another good score. We got ourselves a bit higher than we would have liked. Four spades would be uh, fine to play in. Uh, but we didn't get to slam, even though there was lots of this bidding. Um, I think what I did is fine. I don't mind what my partner did. Um, obviously, I don't like their general styles of cue bidding there. Um, but here... I can see why they got there. The hands really didn't fit well together, but we still made um, 11 tricks. And as you can see, 11 tricks are cold, and um, basically I, I think that's reasonable to actually, like, just shows the power of these hands. Both of them are pretty good. They don't even fit well together, but they're both really primed for slam that we have only 26 high card points, and we're cold for 11 tricks and can make 12 on the wrong lead, even though they don't fit well. Alright, so that was board number two. Um, ooh, 17 points, 4, 4, 3, 2. Uh, again, a really good 17, but I'm not upgrading out of this one. Um, but it could be reasonable. Okay, one no past three no. We don't have any club stopper. And we only have three diamonds, three spades, and two heart tricks. So even if the clubs don't cash, we still need to work on... Um, getting an extra trick. Anyway, let's just see uh, what happens. Ooh. Ace of clubs and they switched. Alright, so if I put in the 10, I'm playing west to have led away from the jack. If I play low, I'm playing west to 
not have the Jack of Spades, but maybe East have Jack Doubleton. Now, if I had the Jack of Spades, I don't think switching to a spade is that appealing. So I am not going to play West for the Jack of Spades. Alright. This looks like a hand that you could almost do a suicide squeeze on. Like, we've got potential play in spades, potential play in hearts, potential in diamonds. If I cash my honours, I'm basically saying if spades are 3 3, or if someone has a doubleton jack. Um, diamonds, I'm hoping diamonds are 3 3. If I exit with a club, if clubs were 4 4, then um, I guess I don't really squeeze them, but. It looks like it's getting close. Oh, there we go. That's my ninth trick. So let's cash our spades. We get a heart discard. Play diamond over and another another heart discarded from Ace. So let's just cash the uh, Ace of Hearts here. All right. So East has pitched two hearts. And they've got at least three. Is the queen going to drop? So West certainly has the um, queen of hearts. East wouldn't be pitching two hearts from queen ten fourth. Um, yeah, let's just see if the uh, queen of hearts drops. There we go. And both my hearts are good. And it's diamond, and all my diamonds are good. Okay, so three no making should be... <laughs> three no making 12. That was pretty normal. Um, they can hold me to nine by just cashing the first four tricks. If people do stick in that ten of spades, notice that there is that jack doubleton there. Uh, they do blow a trick like that. So I think, again, another fantastic score, but lots of people will just... Uh, not make 12 tricks, but they'll make a lot of tricks anyway. Um, but yeah, so I feel like this is running at about 70%, maybe a bit higher. So three fantastic boards. Pass, pass, three hearts. And I have 16 points in a 6-4 shape. I'll just bid three spades for now. Um, and what's a double now? It's takeout double. Is it worth making a takeout double? My partner could pass it. Um, they're probably going to be bidding four spades if they bid anything. So I think double's fine. I don't think the opponents are going to make four hearts. My partner can pass that out. Um, my partner also may have a singleton spade. So I'm going to swing the ace of spades at this and see is it worthwhile playing another spade. Ah, who's got the singleton? So East has seven hearts and something else. Uh, if I play another spade, they get one discard. If I if my partner's got the singleton spade, that's useful as well. The ten of spades there probably yeah. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, got the rough. That's lovely. Love their work. Okay, diamond to the ace. So West is out of um, East is out of spades here. And my partner returned diamond, so I'm just going to continue a diamond here, and they get rid of a club. But my partner gets another rough and diamond. All right, so East has two diamonds, two spades. They've only got one club left. They've got seven hearts. Uh, my partner got to rough with both of their hearts. Um, basically we probably just have a, uh, a, heart, a club trick waiting there is a chance that they made it with a 6 guard suit anyway I'll play with spade and just hold on to my clubs okay. there we go and another good score not everyone will make the take up double um, not everyone will swing the ace of spades I'm not sure if that's relevant if people lead a low club, it will go club to the ace, spade over, and a spade rough. Um, so, plus 800. Very happy with that. But, uh, yeah. 
So Ace of Spades is fine. Not leading, <laughs> that is also fine. Because your partner gets in and gets their one rough. That's the important thing. Uh, maybe leading the Ace of Spades put, gave myself a challenge about whether my partner actually had that singleton or not. So possibly leading a club on the get-go is a decent idea. Anyway, happy with plus 800. Some people won't be doubling that. So I'm guessing there's around 85% for four hearts doubled. Four spades has two spade losers, a diamond loser, and that's it. So four spades does make, so it was important to get the 800 out of this. I think for oh no, you've got three spade losers. So four spades doesn't even make. Right. Bit more of a uh, normal hand here. 13 points, balanced hand. So just open club. Button a bit of diamond. So we're just bidding four card suits up the line. And playing a no trump. <laughs> How do the robots have auctions like this? Um, right. I'm not doubling him. I was thinking about it, but here I think just drawing trumps is probably a good idea. Hmm, do I need to? Um, maybe not. So Ace of Spades, Dummy's got a short spade. They've got a decent club suit, which I knew would be happening. But East probably doesn't have the king of clubs. So maybe I should switch to a diamond here. I should try and work out what their shape is. Okay, so East has Ace Queen of Diamonds. They probably... If they have the king of clubs, they don't have much else. My partner has the king of diamonds. And... So the missing cards I care about, King of Clubs and Ace of Hearts. Now my partner's probably only got one of those. Um, now, I think getting our heart tricks is probably useful. So heart, King of Hearts, another heart and a third heart to me. Um, so it looks like East probably has uh, the King of Clubs because my partner's got Ace, Jack of Hearts and the King of Diamonds. So it looks like they're going to take the rest of the tricks. Unless it's a Singleton King of Clubs. If it's a Singleton King of Clubs and they have to play Ace, Queen, Jack of Clubs straight away, that'll allow them to have uh, two discards. And there are five, three, one, four, one. Um, yeah, so they'll have the rest of the tricks anyway. Uh, which is sad. If I didn't start with the Ace of Spades, I think we would have had the timing um, for me, for us to set up the diamonds. Um, maybe my partner's got the Ten of Spades. Ah, <laughs> they left me with some hope by hiding the king of clubs, but uh, not to be. All right, that one should be a bad score. Um, although they probably are technically cold. No, they're not. So what do we have to do? So ace of spades, that's fine. Can't switch to the jack of diamonds. I can play hearts. Why can't I switch to diamonds? Um, so if we take all the hearts and then my partner leads a diamond to the queen. Well, we take all the... Uh, yeah, I, I don't get it. What can we do? Um, oh, we, we have to play clubs. We can take all the hearts and then play a club. They can win, they can play a spade, we can play another club, and then they'll have this deep diamond loser. So we can beat at one. It's not obvious, so possibly not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, but still, I think this will be around 30, 35%. Not a good score for that. Anyway, uh, that was board number five. Only three more to go. I think we're doing pretty well, even with that bad one. And another balanced hand. Let's go back to those weird ones earlier where I've got uh, stuff that I can do. Wow. So, this is a best hand tournament, and I can probably work a lot about 
out about this hand. I've got 13. My partner's got five, which is 18, so 22, like at most five, 22 missing. So it could be 11 and 11 or 10 and 12, something like that. Anyway, I am not coming into this auction and that's where we're ending in this. So 11 there and 13 is 24, 16 points missing. My partner has at most five, which gives this hand uh, 11 as well. So I reckon West has 11 to 13 uh, with good clubs. All right, heart lead, I like that. And they'll run the eight of clubs. Ooh, queen of clubs. And they they put in the 10, okay. Um, I'm actually gonna win this and knock out their heart um, before they can use those spades because the spades are gonna break. So I need to knock out East's entry. Now they pulled a diamond and let's split. Huh, maybe I shouldn't have split if my partner's got 10 third. Oh, they threw the eight away, okay. Um, All right, well, give them an entry back to the east hand. Knock out that club. All right, and we've... Oh, my partner threw away from queen third spade. Got about that. I thought they might have had queen fourth. It just seems ridiculous that they'd do that. But anyway, we gave away a trick there. Get my club and... Yeah, they held on to a completely useless card to throw away from queen third spade. Anyway, minus 120, another pretty bad score. Um, they're always cold for eight tricks, but that being said... Um, I don't like that at all. We had a lot more. Like, my partner really didn't need to hold on to their diamond winner. Just holding on to queen third spade. Whereas I don't really know the spade position. And even when I flew king, I don't think it actually mattered at that stage. Um, when they had pulled a spade to the ace. So at this stage, uh, they get their diamond trick. And that's their eighth trick. Because if I don't take my king of spades, I can't get to my club. So my partner's spade discard was terrible. Like, ah, oh, just so bad. Why would they do that? Oh, we could have held it to one for a medium score. But no, score just about 40% probably for that. Um, nine, 12 points and a six card spade suit. So decent hand, I'll open one spade, one no trump, and I'll just bid two spades. Partner bids two no trumps, uh, 10 to 12 with a balanced hand, one or fewer spades supposedly. So not necessarily, not balanced. Um, but even if my partner's got one spade and a 12 count, maybe I'm on tilt, but I'm feeling like bidding four spades. My spade suit's pretty robust. Uh, I've got sharp cards, I've got a singleton club. I think this could make, let's try and do it. Ace of spades, great cut. Wow, I hit the jackpot here. I like seriously did well in guessing what my partner had. Anyway, I have a club loser, no diamonds. I have two heart losers. Anyway, diamond lead and a win. Spade to the ace. And now I have to guess what I want to do. Now we've got five diamonds and I can pitch two hearts on those, but... Um, if I play a diamond to the king and play spade, 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 if that was a singleton diamond lead, and I play a diamond to the king, it gets rough, they play a club over and they give their partner another rough, dummy is dead. So I think it's better to pull a club here. Ooh, they didn't knock out, um, play another diamond, which would have been the scariest defense for me. King of spades, queen of spades, and... 
usually when there's only one trump out there and it's the master trump it's worthwhile to let it go but i really want to cash all those diamonds so we'll play another one and pitch a heart and we'll just rough that and now we have the rest so diamonds were breaking sensibly but uh, 11 tricks and that should be a good board not everyone's going to bid that and yeah, that's the only game I think you can legitimately make. Um, you've got five club losers, so you can't make three no trump. Um, but you've got a really good spade suit, and just looks at, look at the sharp cards, the different shape. Definitely jack, hit the jackpot with the ace of spades and a good diamond suit. If my partner had a good club suit, that hand wouldn't be great. <laughs> Would be an understatement. But I still think it's worthwhile. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, moving on to the final board. And I have a 10 count. And my partner opened two diamonds, week two. And this is a best hand tournament, so everyone's got 10 points. And, right. So, if everyone's got 10 points, and my partner's probably got good diamonds, like ace, queen of diamonds, and another card, maybe... Yeah. Um, if I pass here, the opponents will come back in with three two hearts, raise, play in three hearts or something. If I bid two spades, might be okay. Wow, two spades past four spades. I wasn't expecting my partner to uh, raise to four spades. Um, I was expecting to get out in three diamonds, but I just didn't want the opponents competing to like two hearts or three hearts. But if my partner's got good spades here, like ace, queen of diamonds, and like the queen of spades, uh, we're not making this contract with those four lo uh, losers in hearts and clubs, but yeah. So I'm probably going to go one down here. Okay, and my partner has a very strange four spade bid. Anyway, diamond lead, we've got two club losers, a heart loser, a diamond loser. I need spades to break. And I need them not to get their diamond rough. So they didn't get their diamond rough. All right, so let's hope that spades break 3-3. Three, three. I was going to throw the king of, Sp king of diamonds away anyway. Um, heart. Oh, spades broke. <laughs> hey, I'm making... This is just my day. Every, like, excluding those two bad boards, the, everything's just falling into place. Like, here, I uh, just made a non-makeable four spades. I got two club losers, but then after that, uh, we're all good. So here, I think passing two diamonds is okay, but knowing that we've got a 10 card fit, um, it seemed like the opponents would get into the bidding and they could easily even have four hearts on. Not that I was worried about them bidding four hearts, but bit like I thought that stopping them finding their hearts would be a good idea. Now, on the hand, they have three spade losers and a heart loser. So they've got nine tricks and hearts. Um, and if you pass, it'll go double, and then uh, they, can, they find their heart fit. You can pick to three diamonds, they might compete to three hearts. And then do you bid four diamonds, which can technically has two clubs and a diamond loser. Uh, so it does make four diamonds, but I was basically trying to buy it in three diamonds, but then my partner jumped raised to four spades. And I should have gone down, but uh, the robots decided not to uh, go diamond, diamond rough. So really happy here with this best hand, knowing that all the points were spread out all flat. All right, so the results are in, and I finished in 30th with 75.79%. So pretty decent all up. Um, so the winner was Mace Edwin, um, but 30th out of 4,373, so awesome result there. Let's go through the hands and see what we actually did. How good were my uh, predictions? So number one, four hearts plus two, making uh, 12 tricks was 80%. So that was, I thought it was going to be a decent score. There was room for error of people there, but uh, lots of people... Ah, uh, yeah, so 
people don't like bidding their other suit. It's really important just to show your other suit. There's a clear, clear example of sometimes you find these other fits like this. Wow, people went off in four hearts. What did they do? So club lead, they won. They finessed a heart. They're, they're going along great guns. They finessed again and they ruined their entries. So not getting rid of that ace of spades really cost them there. But uh, they were on target to make uh, 12 tricks. A couple of people even made 13 tricks, which is rather incredible. Anyway, definitely happy with my 80% there. Board number two was where I, we were pushy. We, we, we both uh, pushed it to the limit and made 11 tricks. Um, lots of people in three no trumps making a lot. I was the only one in five spades, but heaps of people in three no trumps. So they just opened one no trump on this hand and their partner did simple stamen and showed five spades and four hearts, but I guess people weren't sure of that or they just chose three no trumps anyway and managed to make 12 tricks and no trumps. Um, and some people made 12 tricks and spades. What did they do? So spade lead, uh, opening spade lead when they actually got to four spades like that. I feel a bit hard done by, uh, but overall, uh, I'm surprised I'm the only one that got treated this hand as too good for one no trump out of 60 people that got there. Some people went down in four spades. Ah, uh, club a spade, three spades. So, all right, so other people did that. Uh, new minor forcing. And then they just jumped to four spades rather than uh, bidding three spades, which stopped stopped the mayhem. But uh, they still only, <laughs> they went down there. So someone else did treat it, but they didn't play it as well. Anyway, board number three, 95% here for making three no. Wow, I thought there would be lots more than that. People sticking in the uh, jack of spades here. One no past three no. They got the ace of clubs lead. Lots of people leading the ace of clubs and then, oh yeah, switching to the spade. And they played low and they still only made 11 tricks rather than 12. So you've got four hearts um, when you cash all your spades first. And, ah, oh, because ace threw a heart away. So that's probably what it was. Cashing the spades managed to get them to make the mistake. Then I got 97% for doubling four hearts here. So only a few people actually doubled four hearts. Most people let it go. Some people bid to four spades. So they started with the double and then bid their spades. I really don't like this style of action. I prefer to bid my suit first and then offer my partner a choice when it goes like this. If I stopped in three spades, I'd be happy. Like sometimes you make four, but sometimes you uh, only make three. Anyway, 97, that was better than I thought. And here are my two rubbish boards, but I got 65 on one of them. 25% for two spades making two. So uh, lots of people beat two spades. Some people doubled it even. So let's just see how someone else did. Uh, Jack of diamonds and they win. King of clubs, club. Queen of clubs, rough over rough. Spade, you win it. 10 of diamonds. The robots threw the nine away when you lead the Jack of diamonds. That is kind of silly. Um, but I guess uh, your partner can duck the diamond if uh, they keep the nine. Anyway, I ended up beating one. Uh, like my spade lead obviously worked out poorly, but I don't think it's a terrible choice. Then one no trump uh, making an over trick. 65%. Uh, so one no trump by south. How did people get there? Oh, they just opened one no trump. Or they showed 18, 19 balance. This is something people don't realize. When their partner doesn't respond and you have a minimum balanced hand, you don't read it one no trump. Your 12 to 14 opposite their less than six is not a good idea for playing in no trumps. So one no trump here shows 18, 19 balance. But they even got a better score than me. Um, but lots of the people let it make uh, nine tricks, 10 tricks, 11 tricks. Some people doubled it. All pretty crazy stuff. Four spades plus one for 94%. So thought this one would be pretty good here. Uh, not everyone bidding to it. And obviously I hit a gem of a hand. Better, 
better to be lucky than good. Um, but uh, this hand's sort of not too tricky to play. And then 90% on the final board. <laughs> yeah, where I got pretty lucky with my two spade bid. And my partner raised to four spades and they didn't get their rough. Uh, so lots of people got to five diamonds or four diamonds. I wasn't really interested in game, but my partner just propelled me up to it. Um, on a hand that I wouldn't really do that on. Uh, I was just trying to buy it in three diamonds so that the opponents didn't do it. Uh, but yeah, four spades making for... Uh, 90%, so pretty lucky there, and an awesome finish, finishing in 30th, so pretty happy with the 75% there. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the free day-long tournament, and I'll be back in a fortnight. See ya.